Now that we've come to a right understanding of how to characterize the time of the first arrival, it is now time to turn to the arrival process as a whole. So we now have subsequent arrivals arriving at random points in time to characterize this Poisson process. Our analysis of the first arrival and the time to first arrival points the way. Let us look at the sequence of inter-arrival times, where let's say that x1 is a time to the first arrival, as before. Let x2 denote the time between the first and second arrivals, x3 the duration between the second and third arrivals, and so on down. xn for an arbitrary positive integer n, representing the duration between the n minus 1th and the nth arrivals. Okay, and our job now is to characterize the distribution of these inter-arrival times. Let's begin with the key observation that we already have under our belt. The first arrival is characterized by an exponential distribution. Now, the key element here, the key observation here, is that the Poisson process has independent increments. And what does that mean? It means that the number of arrivals in a given interval is independent of the number of arrivals in any interval disjoint from the first. And therefore, the moment we look at the first arrival, from that point on, given that the first arrival has occurred somewhere, from that point on, the time to the next arrival is independent of what transpired earlier. This is the independent increment property. And immediately into a lapse, will fall this following idea. Every arrival constitutes a renewal of the process. It's as if we've begun anew. And therefore, the time between the first and second arrivals has the same distribution as the time of the first arrival. It's exponentially distributed with the same parameter alpha. And the moment a second arrival comes into place, the third arrival is independent of the first two and the inter-arrival time x3 has got the same distribution as x1 and x2 and so forth. And so, what have we discovered? The sample points of the Poisson process are characterized by this infinite sequence of inter-arrival times. And this infinite sequence of chance-driven inter-arrival times represent independent trials, each with a common underlying exponential distribution characterized for the first arrival. And there you have it. This now is the underlying sample space for this rich problem.